The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Hmm. Nose is too small. Had another question about the planner. Aye, aye. I'm all ears. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. He didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa of our atre named her guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Varatra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador? Yes. You know him? Wouldn't say that. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you've a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we Rosa preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty's like a young Beauclair wine, whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help.
I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Take this coin and leave. That ain't how it works. Vespula's to pay or be taught a lesson. Already given her a verbal reprimand. Now go before I teach you a lesson. Come on. Gold's gold. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Eh, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen. When I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Elial? Yes. 
Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought... Thought Elihal was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihal. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. But I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When'd you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd, as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. <laughs>